What's up guys? So we're back with another video. A subscriber commented asking for an H2V breakdown. So without further ado, let's get into it and break this motor down. All right, couple things you're gonna need. You wanna get your H-Series long block, your H2V kit, either QSD or Evolution, and a B-Series transmission. You're gonna need Hasport motor mounts, B-Series axles, and whatever bolt-ons you guys want. If you guys do decide to run this manifold, you're gonna need the 1320H2B spacers because your hood will not shut. Like, it will not shut. You will crack your map sensors. I cracked three of them. So, save you guys some money there. Do not shut your hood without the spacers. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna crawl into the car, show you guys a couple things I had to do to get this motor to fit inside this shell. So, give me a second if I can get down there. So, I started this video a couple days ago, but I've been a little busy, so I'm gonna continue where I left off, and I'm gonna get under the car now and show you guys a couple things that I had done. So a couple things you have to do, one of them being you have to shave the back of the block for the B-Series half shaft to fit, and then you're gonna wanna cut the frame for the crank pulley to fit. There's several ways to do this, but I tried banging it in and it just wasn't clearing, so I ended up cutting it. I suggest you guys to save your time and just cut it. Also, there is a bracket, which is the alternator relocator bracket. You're gonna need to get that. Either QSD, Innovative, or Evolution, sell it. And going back to the top. Also, I recommend you guys getting the 1320 tensioner. Right there, if you guys can see that. The 1320 time belt tensioner right there because the factory ones are completely garbage. All right, so I recommend you guys to get a three row radiator because these motors do, I don't know where they store all this coolant, but they take a lot of coolant. If you guys want, you guys don't have to, but I have this 1320 time and belt walk blocker that you guys can purchase. Keeps the timing belt steady, not, not a lot of shaking. Also, what I, I didn't get to do it, but I do have the part, it might be for sale, if any of you guys need it, hit me up, is the 1320 balance shaft delete kit. It's brand new, haven't been mounted, haven't been played with. I just haven't had the time to put it together, but if any of you guys need it, let me know. That's pretty much the basics of how to put an H2B together. All right, that's pretty much it for the how to H2B a Civic. It's not that complicated of a swap, to be honest. There's two things that are complicated, which is putting the H2B kit on the block. If you guys haven't done that yourself before, I recommend you guys going to someone that has done it before, just so you don't mess anything up. And the second thing is having space between the frame and the crank pulley. Honestly, I banged in the frame, but it was just a waste of time. It wouldn't make enough space. So what I, what I did was I just cut it. When you cut it, you guys got, wanna make sure there's no sharp edges or anything that'll cut the alternator belt or anything like that. And honestly, that's pretty much, pretty much it. So if you guys wanna go ahead and try it yourself, go for it. You'll probably have better luck than doing a K-Series by yourself. But that'll be it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.